Hi everyone, welcome back to Suman's Academy. If you are here, it's probably because you have watched my previous videos on deploying JSON server on render.com. And if you haven't, well, you are here for a treat. But wait, I have got a secret. Some folks have been whispering in the comments that render.com is charging us money now. Well, fear not. If render.com is making your wallet cry, it's time to stop the madness. Today, I'm going to show you a platform that's free, easy to set up and let you deploy unlimited projects. You can perform all CRUD operation on your data without spending any coins. Curious? Stick around because by the end of this video, you will be laughing how easy that was. Alright, let's drive into the magic. Step 1. Clone my GitHub template and add your JSON data. Step 2. Sign up or log in to glitch.com and deploy it with just one click. Yes, you heard that right. One click. Let's see a quick demo now. I have provided this GitHub repository link in the comment section as well as in the description box. If you are using this repository, don't forget to make this repository a star. Now, you can click on this use this template button. After you have done that, click on this option create a new repository. From here, you can choose the owner and you can give your repository name. Make sure this repository is public and you can click on create repository. Click here on this db.json file. So it will open in this way. Now you can click on this pencil icon which will give you the edit option. Now you can bring your json data. Now if you want you can delete all this data and enter your data. json data syntax is everything should be inside this curly braces. Now here you need to give the API endpoint name. Suppose I am giving as data and it should be under this quoted. After that semicolon and then you can put all your data. The data could be of any type. Here I am pasting that is array of objects. So after you have pasted your data, you can click here on commit changes and you can click here commit changes. Let's move towards step 2 which is deploying our JSON data in glitch.com. For doing that, you need to go to this website glitch.com and you can click here for sign up first. So here you have 2-3 options but I will go with this Google OAuth system. So you can click on this Google icon and then you can use your email ID. So once you are inside this glitch.com, you can click here in new project option and you can choose this option import from github now here you need to paste your github repository link so this is my github repository link which i will copy it and i will paste it here and i will click on this button ok that's all you need to do to deploy a json data you can see how easy it is so after that your data is being deployed you can see here if you want you can use this option prettier so all this data that i have deployed you can preview it by clicking on this option and you can choose this option preview in new window so it will open a new tab and you can see with this data endpoint which i have given the name here this is this is the name that is taken as the api endpoint and here my data has been deployed this is how easy it is to deploy a db.json data in glitch.com but wait what if you want to add more data in this database so what you can do you can go in your github and go to this db.json file and you can add your more data here i will click on this edit file option and then i will go till the end and here since this is i since i know this is the array of objects so here i will put one comma and here i will give the api endpoint name Suppose let's give this name as products and then I can paste my data. Once I have done that, you can commit your changes to your main branch and when you will come here and when you will refresh this, you will notice it is not deployed automatically. That means you have to do your some manual work here. To do that, you can go to this option tools and choose this option import export and choose this button import from github. Now here you need to give your github repository but wait, 
click the syntaxes, you need to provide the username and the repository part. That means once you are here, so this is Uma Sahani is my username and this is my repository part, JSON data. So I will copy this and I will provide it here. And I will click on this button OK. After that, when you will refresh it, so you can see this product data is also added. It, it is also deployed. You can also see I can perform all this get, put, patch, delete options here with this data by using this URL endpoint. Now let's talk about why you should even bother deploying your JSON server. Look at this example first. This is one of my group project that I have created in initial days of learning HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So here everything is working fine since the data is not deployed. Every static things will look as expected you want. But when you want the data should be fetched from db.json file this will not work in your deployed application. As you can see, this application is deployed on this netlify.com. But since the data, the db.json file is not deployed separately, so that's why we are not able to fetch the data in our deployed application. So this is why it is very important to first deploy your db.json file and then you deploy your application. And you can see the rest of the functionality work will work as expected, but the most important thing, your data, you will not get it if you will not deploy your JSON file. So after your data is deployed, you can perform create, read, update, delete. In short, CRUD operation by using fetch APIs or XUs. Now before we get into the ultimate showdown, glitch versus render, let's talk about why glitch might just be your new best friend. First of all, glitch is free. That's right. Free as it has no hidden charges, no surprise bills. You can deploy unlimited projects, which means you can go wild. Of course, no platform is perfect. Let's be real, render.com is powerful and scalable, but sometimes it makes things complex. Glitch, on the other hand, is just like a fun, carefree friend who might struggle a bit if you throw a huge party. It's perfect for small projects, but if you're expecting a crowd, it might not handle the traffic as well. One more drawback that I have found in glitch.com is when you are updating your data in the GitHub, it is not automatically updating in your deployed server. You have to do it manually. In case of render.com, it does automatically. So you do not have to worry. You just have to push your code into the GitHub. That's it for today. In my next video, I will show you some amazing places to get JSON data. Think of it as a treasure hunt for JSON data for your projects. Whether you need a sample data for some projects or just want to explore more interesting data sets, you will find it there. You don't want to miss it? Subscribe now and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Tell me the topics that you want me to cover in my upcoming videos. See you in the next one.